everybody, this is John Bain. I want to welcome you to Scrap Mechanic Survival. Hope you guys are doing pretty good today. I'm doing good myself. Don't want to forget to mind you all to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be here when stuff happens. Because here we are, back with some more Scrap Mechanic. And um, I'm just getting back from another expedition uh, to another warehouse to get more stuff. I stopped by one of the towns to grab their panel stuffs because today, um, well, we're going to do some things. <laughs> we're going to do some things. Um, I, well, the first off, um, there's a, several things we need for accessing different areas of our planned base areas. And I have a decent amount of mats already made up. I'd love to work on the main base some more. But I think what we need to do today is get a legitimate bridge up to the other side. Now, um, I've been looking here. And this looks like we could get a straight line across. We would probably have to change our platforms over there. The only stuff that's kind of semi-permanent is maybe the actual farms themselves. Everything else can be moved around. But um, I'll maybe build a platform out here with supports coming down and then um, run over. And then I'd like to do like a drawbridge or something. I think that would be kind of nifty. Um, making a mixture, making it kind of kind of scrappy, but like a legitimate-ish drawbridge, which is going to be the challenge. Um and, and having the right amount of weights and stuff that can handle it and not destroy my frame rate. This will be a probably big test, and if it will build it, and we'll see. Oh, I missed the bottom of that. Are you serious? Is that floaty time? And floaty time is not allowed. Oh, my God. Um, Let me throw this meat in the hole. We got meat to put in the hole. Where's the meat? There it is. Nope. Right here? Yes. Good stuff. Go in the hole. All right. But anyway, um, yeah, we're going to do that. I've got more. I got a lot of, like, the angles and some other things to unload from the vehicle. I actually pretty much filled up the inventory with stuff. I did find a couple more of the strip lights to put up, too, um, if we need to put them up. I still have two extra left, so that makes it four. And some other things, but uh, we'll probably get... Well, we will. Um, we will use some concrete to get, like, a base kind of set up for it. We'll have some wood into it. We'll have scrap pieces and a bunch of other things. But, yeah, like I said, like, I got a bunch of stuff to unload. I uh, want to say hi to you guys. Get this thing started. So we got lots of stuff in here and in here. And then we have stuff inside the middle chambers as well. Got a little bit of mats, too, from doing this. So, anyway, let me get unloaded, get set up, and we'll be right back. All right, welcome back. That took a little while to get organized and make some chests to get stuff together. Um, I had some chests underneath some of the tables there with some more scrap pieces that I've placed along the ridge side over there. Um, so it's time to get started. And, well, right before we get started, we have to think about the things that are important for this build. Uh, we need it to actually... Uh, we need, want it to look good. We want aesthetics. So that's our form. We got to have aesthetics. We want it to work right, which is a uh, function... And then also, I guess we need to make sure we watch the FPS, which we'll call that sustainability, because we need to be able to keep it up. The problem with that is going to be trying to, um, is having the bridge go down and having it, like, stay solid. Um, I think we'll end up having a couple flaps to kind of hold it underneath when it goes up and down. And then we'll also need to have something to hold it when it goes up top so the bearings don't have a whole bunch of stress on it. And I'm hoping that helps our FPS. Our FPS is pretty good right now. I have the truck up top flat on the floor and also our car is flat on the floor. So that's good, our Explorer. Um, and I also, as you can see, I have some uh, scrap blocks on me. We're going to use this to kind of see what we can get done here. Um, I think what we'll do is go furthest point off of here first. And then we can use that to decide. We'll figure out what we're going to do. I could do a little elbow coming out. Um, I just, like, I want to make it look right because it's being supported and stuff, and I don't know how good that would look with this. So, first off, we need just need to see where our line is for, for it to kind of be cohesive with stuff. Uh, let's take you and go over a little bit because this here, we, we got some rock face to work with if we need to, go like, go out, like, at least this far or so. Um, I'm going to fall down. That was on purpose this time, guys. That was on purpose. Matt! <laughs> for those of you that watched the episode, that was not on purpose. Let me get... Wow, this is go all the way back down to the bottom. At least we can walk back up here. Um, so, like, yeah, we're going to come out from here. Oh, my God. <sighs> <laughs> oh, no. All right, I put some chairs up just so I can get up here real quickly, and I'm probably going to fall again. Uh, that's, not, that's not even a question. I should probably say when I fall again, uh, which might be right now. Can I... Okay, well, screw it. We're going to do a little tab right there, so I don't have to worry about that. And we're going to come out another length just so I can see where we're at with stuff. Okay. This still doesn't look like it's far enough for that one, but it looks like it could reach over to that. Uh, I wasn't really hoping to have to build that much. Hmm. 
I mean, I like building, don't get me wrong, but I'm just thinking about the amount of mats I have to actually make something work versus, like, you know, what we probably, what it feels like the place is calling for. That's the other thing we're trying to do is not fall down. Uh, another thing we're trying to do is make it match the environment or fit in the environment like it's supposed to be there, not just... Like, that elbow right now is just there for because I needed a better way to cross than just on some thin pieces of scrap wood. But, um... I want to make it look right. And I don't want to put a whole build on the bearing because, again, it's going to wreck FPS. And if we're going to make this our base, we really have to be very conscientious about, like, what, what the cost on our FPS is going to be for doing something. Um, that's still not far enough out. This looks like it's the closest and it's still going to overhang. So, with that being said, if we run... Because I'm going to run supports down on the ground and stuff, too, to make it look right. Huh. We have that and that. There's our line here. We have a little bit of stuff there. And how does this look for this? This looks like we could actually come off of that more. Uh, let's choose a different height. Like off the top of this. So we have a an area here that is set up. I use some mats, but whatever right now. Just so I can get over here. Is that is that high enough to go around and or over you? It is very nice. Okay, so those are the same heights. That works out really nicely then. So if we were to come out here, how much further can we go before we go over the rock face? We're right at it now. So it looks like, okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to run a, a scrap block all the way across uh, with the zero falls and zero deaths. And uh, we'll see where it points at and we'll be right back. All right, welcome back, and we have got things set up. It uh, looks like uh, we ha I found the center point. Oh, well, let me just show you what I did. I kind of cased in about the size of the bridge itself. Uh, might end up doing some connection points across here or something like that, maybe a walkway. Um, but here is the line here on both sides is where I'm willing to build down into the ground at. Um, so that's there. This is center point. It's an even width, which is what we need for our build. So that's the even point for the ends of the drawbridge to come down at. Here's the furthest I'm willing to go on this side. And I put that across just so I had something to walk over to. Uh, this back end I haven't done anything with because we're going to end up bringing it out to bring it over to the side there. But that's kind of what we've got. Now, I wanted to be cohesive with our build, but then have its own unique feel. So to make it cohesive, we're going to end up using, um, at least on the platforms, concrete. And we'll use the bricks since I have a good amount of that. Um, and the bricks are pretty dang cheap to make. Concrete isn't that bad, tier one. So I feel like that's acceptable for our needs. Uh, let me do this. I'm going to go ahead and... So you can see I have plenty of bricks in here. I have some plenty of bricks on me. I have some concrete here. Uh, again, super easy to make. We're going to use some caution blocks in the build too. But for now... <laughs> yeah, you thought you had me. <laughs> oh, it might have had me again. Uh, but for now, we're just going to go ahead and just mess up that really good. Let's bring this over. That's brick. I meant to do concrete. That's on four. Okay, bring this concrete in. We're going to do the concrete edging again. And again, um, like what's on our base right now, it's not going to stay like that too. I, I want to reiterate that. I know a lot of people, it seems like they watch like only a part of the video or something and then like say something that I've already talked about, which is fine if, if you don't understand or something. But uh, anyway, like I, I said, like most of the stuff we're doing um with the base itself i don't want to get into detail work until we have the shell done so and here we'll probably end up getting going into some more detail work because I, this was like a one and done thing i, I hope it is <laughs> that's the plan that's the plan let's just say that that's the plan all right so let's this here and we'll pull off these two and pull this across and then get this here and um we have those radio tower legs i'd like to work that into like the support system um for it maybe some cross beam areas is that gonna be okay it is okay it won't fall down go boom there we go and then we will do this pull that out from completely there and then use this here and this is what the kind of doing just just kind of like sketching out the lines filling them back in uh we're gonna stop here and i think this is gonna be where it goes and then it's gonna go up i'm not exactly sure about that part yet so we'll leave that alone and I'm going to go ahead and do this side and work out the other side. I just want to show you what this part is. And uh, once I get all this done and put the brick in, we'll be right back. All right, welcome back. And we have got stuff set up. I got the borders around, and I went down one on the edge. 
I might move it in actually now that I think well we got some other stuff to put on this too but I had some scaffolding too as well so we could do work where we need to do work as you can see there some's down there some's over there so this way we can get around and, and do what we need to do um I think we're gonna start on this side and see what we can get done with with uh actually getting like some testing on a drawbridge here I guess I could have just done um broke it off and then welded it onto what I wanted to do but oh what did I just do that was that was good I really wish we could get locking on uh, like creations like we could lock like our vehicles from being edited or something like that or remove or blocks removed from it or something that'd be really nice if that was actually built in like as an option because I feel like that would be a really handy dandy thing sometimes and now that we have our scaffolding across the side we need to leave that one side over there just so we know where our center point is and let's pull you off and then you off here. So uh, for right now, for testing sake. <laughs> As before, I was rudely interrupted and forgot to get bearings. Um, yeah, um, <clears throat> nothing happened. Earth is fine. We're fine. Don't worry about it. We'll be okay. And I'm thirsty. God dang it. We got everything to do. Let's do it. All right, there we go. And then let's go over to this one. No, this one. No, this one. Yes, this one. I don't know how many we're going to need. We're just going to grab them all. Do I have any pistons? Oh, boy. I hope I <laughs> that's, that's great. <laughs> oh, this is everything. Now, there's a problem with getting structures to connect uh, bearings on sides if the spacing is too wide. So we need to, like, you can't do it with one stretch. Um, we're going to do, we're going to leave a space out just for now. Not like anyone's gonna fall off or anything like that, you know what I mean? It's gonna because that, that that would be stupid. No one would fall off. All right, there's that. Let's grab you. Let's pull this here, and let's just try this with a little bit in here, and then we'll grab you there and there, and we'll do concrete for now. As it so, this is the thing we have, but I can't connect them. So we are one, two, three. All right, so let's come in a little bit further then. Let's do this and come in two on both sides. This is going to pose some interesting interestingness if because I, I feel like I do need to have bearings on both ends of this to keep the support up. All right, we have that. I have controllers, basic level ones. We've used all our good ones now. So let's just have one of this powered. Okay, that works for me. Okay, and now we're going to go ahead and I'm going to use... Let's use this to come out. And we have... Where's the line at? Right there. So just, just just to test the weight. We're trying to test weight here. And then this goes forward. And this goes, let's see if it starts, if how much it dips already. Yeah, it's already dipping. It is dipping. Oh, that sucks. <sighs> because there's going to be more stuff inside of it too. And I was hoping to use a different material um, that we haven't really been utilizing as much. Now when I put this one on there, there's a tightened up some. Max connections reached. Oh, great. Um, I'm going to use this other one for now. Did that help at all? Not really. Frame rate hasn't really dropped yet either. Now, I'm wondering too, can we put like a support underneath this that holds it when it's out or something? Or maybe have a locking mechanism on the bridge? I feel like that would actually end up causing more issues okay so what i need to do is let me get i'm gonna get another couple pieces out here i'm gonna go ahead and get some my components i got some components left but i'm gonna use that upgrade the controllers up and uh we'll get back with some testing as soon as like the next day rises up i think that's the smart thing to do i went i came down here on purpose because i wanted to look at it from below you know that's that's why we came down here that, that's that's the only reason zero, zero falls we'll be right back all right welcome back and uh, well, we got something here. I did a little bit. Of, I made both sides of it just to see, and it comes down, and it's it's, it's got it's got a little bounce on it, but it, it does dip down. And I'm afraid as we put more weight on it, it's gonna it's not gonna like it. And I'm afraid to do I'm, right now. I'm really afraid to do a drawbridge. Also, something else I didn't know is when you when you squat, you put out force. You see that? I'm off the side some, so when we get in the center of it. That's crazy. Also, did some other testing, too. Uh, I took um, these pieces right here. So, a two-weight. 
And so do these blocks. And I wasn't sure the two-way... You know how it could be kind of screwy sometimes in some games. Like, is one block's worth the same as one block's worth of that? So I put this on a bearing and put them up here with the controller, put the controller off, and they stayed up. So it is actually... So when something like this, see, it says two-weight, and then this guy here says two-weight. There you have it. And when you hit it, you can see it stays, like, pretty much balanced. So that's a thing. Oh. Okay. <laughs> So's that. <laughs> well, then, I'm glad we got a few of them. Um, so, uh, so I'm kind of concerned about actually building a bridge here. Uh, I did make easy to see I made more caution blocks. I'm just interested in seeing how bad this thing's going to drop when we do this. And we'll keep our stipulations to, like, super low weight if this ends up working. Okay, how about you? It's not going down any further. Uh, what are you? Your weight is up really high. Uh, we do have some of these. Let's throw these in. Just to kind of see what's going to happen. It is going down. Oh, it's massively going down. Oh, boy. I mean, we could do interlocking systems. Just as I'm worried about frame rate and doing an interlocking system. Honestly, sorry about that, Mr. Guy. I didn't mean I didn't mean to wreck your face like that so bad. I mean, I'm pretty good at wrecking faces, but that, that I didn't mean to do it that bad, you know. Uh, we have these here. Let's grab them all. Uh, I don't need you right just yet. We're not gonna. We're gonna actually be doing. Like, I was hoping to do kind of like a grid kind of pattern with these with some other blocks, but it goes down even further. Obviously, it should if it was already reacting like that initially. How far down is it going to go and how hard is it going to push because and I, i'd hate to set the bearing to be at an at an opposite like like angle than than what should be to lift it back up because i don't know how much undue stress it's going to create for the build that's another one okay there's that one let's take you and pull you over here and put this here yeah uh, my FPS isn't really changing much, though, so that's a good sign. Hmm. Let's do the other side with whatever I can. This goes here, and then we can do another row. And another couple rows, I guess. There we go. Let's just go with that, and then let's grab... We have these already. Let's put them in and see what happens. For science! <laughs> uh, for our sanity, maybe. Because it would suck to put all this time into building this, and then it, it is not going to work. Wow, the weight is already down lower. How is it going to struggle going up? This is a straight struggle bus. It is not really happy about having to do that much weight. Oh, wow. <laughs> Uh, and see, I don't want to put any, like, side supports coming out to this. It just kind of defeats the purpose of having a, a drawbridge if the whole thing doesn't go up. I was kind of worried about this. Hmm. Maybe this is something we need to wait until mods come out and get the super... Maybe someone will make some super strong bearings and super strong pistons and stuff like that. Because I feel like this is, you know, like, in this kind of case, it would be okay. Um... Just for because this is a beautification. This is really serves no purpose. We already don't have any problems with mobs coming up here, so I just feel like, yeah. Hmm. God dang it. Uh. uh what do you guys think about this? Because I mean, I could do some interlocking on the ends here, have them lock in and blah blah blah. But I feel like it's gonna put more pressure on it. I, I just I don't know. Yeah. Let me know comments down below what you think about this. I may just go ahead and go with something flat and then try to make it look good and have the same kind of feel, but just not the actual functionality of it. Just, again, to save FPS and potential problems because, you know, what if I'm in the right in the middle? Uh, let's do this right quick. And do this one at 1%, 1 degree. Uh, let's go up another degree. We need half degrees, sir. And then that's about looking right there. How do we look with this compared to that? It's a little bit higher. 
All right, what about this one then? <sighs> decisions, decisions. Hmm. What we'll do is continue on as if we're going to do this, and I might do this little offset thing and just to see if we can make it continue to work and then have interlocking happening or something like that. I just, I don't like the flopsiness of it. I'd rather have stability. I mean, we could do a sliding. I wish we had sliding bearings, actually. Not, not with control by a piston. Uh, anyway. Uh, yeah, let me fill around with this some more, and uh, we'll be right back. All right, welcome back. I did some more testing. I did some some locking mechanisms for the drawbridge to lock in together, and it just it wasn't working at the level that I wanted to work at. And I didn't again. I didn't want to, have to run blocks all the way down and try to force under the ground to bring it back up over here, so this whole piece was connected so that the controllers would connect up and both lift up and down at the same time. And it just it just the way the capabilities are right now and the frame rate loss and stuff like that because it was it was fighting when i had the teeth in and all that stuff and i made them solid too but i was able to level it out some but it was just too much and it was very flopsy um i really wish we could upgrade bearing strength i i really feel like that should be a thing I, um you know even giving up some speed or something for more strength it would be nice i don't understand why we can't have that and we already have ways of of doing things <laughs> it just be nice you know what i'm saying i'm not trying to complain just as an observation on my part anyway um so i decided to go with a solid build so far uh this is just the walkway obviously um i did leave the central section here and i made these little sides here because i want to just test something out real quick um where do i have them i have some here there's that i don't know if i need that just yet this is what i want to see um, and then here, just as a quick little tester thing, and maybe this on top, that's too big, that's too much, um, and then take you and put you here, oh, it's a three space, oh, that sucks, <sighs> and no, you can't use this to go halfway, it only lets you go onesies, guys. I think there's been some comments about like this will let you shimmy it a little bit. No, it just is full block movement. Okay, so if I want that to work here, then I need to remove some stuff and redo something. Um, let's remove this row. Like that, because I think it'll look good. I'm glad we made a lot of brick for our base. It just sucks that we made a lot of brick for our base and we're using it for a bridge. <laughs> Oh, great. Not this again. Not this again. No. Uh, be careful. There we go. And we come... Oh, I should have left it so I could have built off of it. Didn't even think about that until now. All right. About there. Let's go on another one. So we need a three space in between this. So let's do this. There we go. That's the, that's what, that's the ticket right there. All right. And let's take you. Let's put you here. And then, I don't think I brought him over, or did I? And those are all the things, I've, all those kinds of pieces that I have ripped off from the warehouses. Uh, let's go over here. I've got some other pieces I'd like to maybe incorporate into it. So this is, that's what I got there. And I should have, we have these too. Okay, there's those. And then we're going to pick up you, bring you over there with me. So across the, um, if we're going to do a solid bridge, we might as well make sure it's well lit. We have enough lights now, um, and I think I'm going to try to use the big, oh, big boy ones, but I would have to do like a split head or something like that, and I couldn't really do a cobra head with it. Um, let's just grab these for the moment just to get some testing in. All right, so I was thinking about putting one of these on top of this because it has that cool little line on it, and then we can take these and put them on top. It's uh, okay. And then have this go up some. And this would be something I'd be willing to throw a controller on to lock in and get the angles right. That might be the way to go with that. But we'll try the elbow first. And when it paints up, it might look okay. And then have a split piece and then run an elbow out and then down and have the lights on it or something. And we got to have railing up, too. And then we have to build the entire support system and get some nice detail work to make it look right. 
Um, I'm thinking about we should probably actually have some sort of structure thing going in here, too. Hmm. Let's do that again on this end and see how this looks with it. With two of them up. There's two of them down. Um, put this here. And since that's there, three. So this is right. This one needs to go away. So we can put that one there. Is that one, two? Oops, so we went over one? We did, we did. So that one stayed, comes back over. And that goes there. So we can pull this in. Let's grab the bricks. Let's put this here. That looks right. Um, we need to grab another base. Base. Uh, it's in this. Nope. It's in. Nope. Yes. Yes. This one. Okay. Great. Great. We found it. And it goes here. Let's go ahead and put this right on you. And then on you. And then we grab you and put you here. And go up. There's three. Oh, we forgot to do the first thing. I really don't feel like this is really required now looking at it, but hey, we can try it. I might go with skinny lights instead. I don't know. We need to get more of this worked out. Um, I would like to do like little like a brick setup with the attached beams in there. So it has like this nice like like Royale look to it. Uh, we have and then have little connection pieces in between. We've got these guys in here, so let's grab that, um, and then we need this, and then we need some of the straight guys. We'll grab one of those, and the straight guys are right here. Where's the long straight? Right there. Okay, cool. Let's try those out. All right. And then let's go over here and just see just how this would look with, with this stuff in, incorporated into part of the build for testing. All right, so let's say we do one of these, do one of those, and then do one of these, and then we do this. And then here, run the same thing across the bottom. Or one of these instead. I kind of like that. And then put a straight one in the middle. Ah. And then incorporate into something like that. I think this is feeling like it's too big. Maybe have actually put back in this. Or maybe bring it in just to where it's just like a one spot or something. No. Ha, huh, I need to toy around with this some. Yeah, let me play around with this some more. We'll get some more ideas. And we'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. It has been an extraordinarily large amount of time. I've almost used up all of the mats I was saving for the base. Um, but it, I think it's pretty good. Uh, one thing to warn you, I guess we're going to have a second episode of this because that's what we were able to get done. I'm pretty happy with it. The little, little pergola style thing. I'd love to have something that connects these and I need to still build the center thing. I'm like extremely low on mats. Like... Where I made some more lights to try out, put some can lights up in here, and then put those on. Those are on a bearing. Attach the controller there. That those are attached to the controller too, so we could have them at an odd angle, to where it's balanced. But my God, <laughs> and I said I was gonna build like a scrappy kind of like mechanicy kind of like style, and then the build. This is what I told you guys about building, like I, I, for me, like I just listen to what it wants to become, and then after putting these basic mats down, it's like. I, w I still want to look like this, so I just continue to go with the flow, and uh, this is what we came up with so far, so I'm pretty happy with it. <laughs> it's, uh, it's almost nighttime, too, so I figured we could be here whenever the lights come on. We definitely need to add more lighting in. I did try the path light things out. I made 80 of them. Not a fan with how the rest of it looks. It doesn't match the aesthetics, so what they come up with other clever ways to add in lighting. I love. We I wish we had some bullards, bullards, whatever you pronounce them. They're, like, they're a little, like, pillar looking things with a light at the top shines out on pathways that would be amazing um and also the one thing i'm disappointed in i think they should make it to where lights actually can connect to a controller and we have a slider for the light intensity and so we can like have it change like over time to different stuff so let's say if it's if it's like this time and i have like a, i make a timer system that ends up timing throughout the day that's set up right that at exactly at like right now like the lights slowly 
like turn up to offset the nighttime. I would really like to have that feature, um, but that's not really a thing. Dimming is not 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 a worry, I guess, of, of a scrap mechanic at all. Um, but as it gets darker here, I just want to enjoy the the work that has been done so far. I'm pretty happy with these pieces though, and I'm thinking about doing something covered here on the corners. Uh, to help it and then have some attachments that help bring it together. I don't know yet. And then we're going to have to do another episode where we build the bottom because that ain't acceptable. Uh, the top's okay for we're starting with and I do like it. And I've almost pretty much used up all of the piping that I've already crafted. I end up having to craft more of the long boys. Um, and then the rest of it I have run through pretty heavily. And with the can, and I did try it out with the gray. And I wasn't a fan. It made it really, like, I like the warm feel of this on the bridge. Now, in the house, this like that will probably have more white lighting and whatnot. But for out here, I kind of like this warm feel. It just it just kind of helps set the mood, if you will. Um, and I did try some other things with the pillars, but I like the cleanness of it. Then it goes to that to add the design so it draws your eye there. And then the lighting. And I did some more light fixture type styles of stuff. That was like, I tried a gooseneck, it didn't really look right. I tried a couple of things, and I just like the simpleness and the cleanness of this because it complements the build, and then having the can lights up in there too is, is, is pretty nice. And this is spaced, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then it's three from the sides, and that's how it looks. Let's get rid of that. There we go. Oh, that's pretty. Uh, why, why do we have to have the, the lift in the distance? That's That's horrible. There we go. Now we can get rid of you. Do this. It's coming together. It's coming together. Well, I'm sorry we didn't get another day. We did do testing with the drawbridge. Um, so we passed up function to add in more more aesthetics this is since we're gonna have a solid build here and we don't worry about fps as much at least thank god um we, since we have that we're going to have to make this look as best as we can and i guess we're going with a modern type style <laughs> um so there we have it uh we're gonna be running piping and stuff underneath we got to build the support systems make it look like legitimate tie in the bottoms of these to the support system get a central setup in there too I wouldn't mind glassing in some of it, too, just to have, like, a nice, like, skylight kind of style in it, too. I don't know. We'll see. That's a lot of mats. Uh, remember, we are grinding our mats, and after this episode, I'm going to be going to grind mats. And uh, hopefully, we'll be able to get some things done. I am A good thing is that we built the semi-truck, which took up a chunk of metal, and, and then we built this, which took up a chunk of stone. So I just need all the, the rock mats I can get. Oh. <laughs> But that is the time I got for the day. Hopefully you guys are liking what you see. If you're liking what you see, don't forget to slam the like button. It does help me out a lot. I really do appreciate it. And as always, thank you so very much. And you all have a good night.